Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. In today's SQL Accounting tutorial, I'll talk about Purchase Debit Note. Let's go to SQL Accounting System, Purchase Module, and here you are, the Purchase Debit Note. Basically, Purchase Debit Note is when your supplier undercharge you certain things in the previous purchase invoice, then they want to charge you again. So they will issue a Purchase Debit Note normally may apply to maybe transportation charge but after gst era in malaysia supplier may directly issue you another purchase invoice instead of purchase debit note well just in case your supplier did issue you the purchase debit note so you just go in same as previous when you go into any transaction there will be a listing of all the purchase debit note that you have created so the first row is empty is for you to do searching example if you can remember the number so you just type the number the system will search for you cannot then can use any of this column to search if you want to search using another criteria which is not in over here you can just right click any column title field chooser then drag out the field that you want to use as a searching criteria such as phone just drag, drop, okay, no one, and just drag, put back, or you can right click the column title, remove this column. The column title, most left, there will be a small button with multiple lines, click on it. This is another way for you to call out the field that you want. Example, agent, just click on agent, so it will appear, and take, it disappear. To create a transaction, just click on the new button, select the supplier. If you can remember, you do not require to memorize all the code in SQL accounting system, whether it is supplier code, customer code, item code, or account code. You can just type the name or descriptions. Example over here, I just type M, so it will search the whole things for me. So M A yes, is. Document number, date, all will appear accordingly. Then click on here. Click on the plus is for you to create, to insert item. So, and again, so it will use the descriptions to search. Let's say when you type M, nothing happened. It's because the focus of searching now is at description 2. To move the focus of searching back to description at your keyboard, Click the tab key, T A B tab key, tab, it jump, tab again, it jump to code, tab again it back to description. So you can search already. Okay. So select the item, okay, put in the quantity, the price will be come up automatically by using the default reference price during maintenance of this item. So if tax amount or this GST element or SST element is not applicable to you, you see this is column, then you know that you can just right click either remove all the unnecessary field. Okay, so put in different quantity, it will multiply and get you the final figure. Click on plus again to get another item. But if you want to have more descriptions, write any column title, field chooser, pull out more descriptions where you can actually hit in more description for the item. Close it, save, yes, close, save, preview, then you can select different format. Okay, let's say this format is what you want. Click on this is the print button or the export button you can convert to PDF format and email to your supplier. But this is not applicable to purchasing module because in under purchasing module, all document is supplied by your supplier to you. So that's why there's no printing required. Okay. At the left hand side, there is more is for you to gain additional information for this document. Attachment, you can attach any document related to this purchase debit note. Note, you can put in some notes. Okay, so this is basically how you create a purchase debit note 
in SCAD accounting system. Personally, I think this is not very important because very less people will send debit note nowadays. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'm Brian from Syntex Technologies. Thank you.